the M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System, M270 MLRS, is an armored, self-propelled, multiple rocket launcher, a type of rocket artillery. Since the first M270s were delivered to the U.S. Army in 1983, the MLRS has been adopted by several NATO countries. Some 1,300 M270 systems have been manufactured in the United States and in Europe, along with more than 700,000 rockets. The production of the M270 ended in 2003, when a last batch was delivered to the Egyptian Army. Overview The weapon can fire guided and unguided projectiles up to 42 kilometers, 26 miles. Firing ballistic missiles, such as the U.S. Army Tactical Missile System, ATACMS, it can hit targets 300 kilometers, 190 miles, away, the warhead in such shots reaches an altitude of about 50 kilometers, 164,000 feet. The M270 can be used in shoot and scoot tactics, firing its rockets rapidly, then moving away to avoid counter-battery fire. MLRS was developed jointly by the United Kingdom, United States, West Germany, France, and Italy. It was developed from the older General Support Rocket System, GSRS. The M270 MLRS weapons system is collectively known as the M270 MLRS Self-Propelled Loader Slash Launcher, SPLL. The SPLL is composed of three primary subsystems, the M269 Loader Launcher Module, LLM, which also houses the electronic fire control system, is mated to the M993 carrier vehicle. The M993 is a derivative of the Bradley fighting vehicle chassis. The rockets and ATACMS missiles are contained in interchangeable pods. Each pod contains six standard rockets or one guided ATACMS missile, the two types cannot be mixed. The LLM can hold two pods at a time, which are hand loaded using an integrated winch system. All 12 rockets or two ATACMS missiles can be fired in under a minute. One launcher firing 12 rockets can completely blanket one square kilometer with submunitions. For this reason, the MLRS is sometimes referred to as the Grid Square Removal System. Metric maps are usually divided up into one kilometer grids. Or informally among artillery personnel as the Finger of God, since a single launcher can sanitize an entire grid square which is about the size of a fingertip on a typical map. A typical MLRS cluster salvo consisted of three M270 vehicles each firing all 12 rockets. With each rocket containing 644 M77 grenades, the entire salvo would drop 23,184 grenades in the target area. However, with a 2% dud rate, that would leave approximately 400 undetonated bombs scattered over the area which could endanger friendly troops and civilians. In 2006, MLRS was upgraded to fire guided rounds. Phase I testing of a guided unitary round, XM31, was completed on an accelerated schedule in March 2006. Due to an urgent need statement, the guided unitary round was quickly fielded and used in action in Iraq. Lockheed Martin also received a contract to convert existing M30 Big G MLRS rockets to the XM31 unitary variant. The M31 G MLRS unitary rocket transformed the M270 into a point target artillery system for the first time. Due to GPS guidance and a single 200 pounds, 91 kilograms, high explosive warhead, the M31 could hit targets accurately with less chance of collateral damage while needing fewer rockets to be fired, reducing logistical requirements. The unitary warhead also made the MLRS able to be used in urban environments. The M31 had a dual-mode fuse with point detonation and delay options to defeat soft targets and lightly fortified bunkers respectively, with the upgraded M31A1 equipped with a multi-mode fuse adding a proximity airburst mode for use against personnel in the open. Proximity mode can be set for 3 or 10 meters, 9.8 or 32.8 feet, height of burst, hob. The GMLRS has a minimum engagement range of 15 kilometers, 9.3 miles, and can hit a target out to 70 kilometers, 43 miles, impacting at a speed of Mach 2.5. A German developmental artillery system, called the Artillery Gun Module, 
has used the MLRS chassis on its developmental vehicles. In 2012, a contract was issued to improve the armor of the M270S and improve the fire control to the standards of the HIMARS. In June 2015, the M270A1 conducted tests of firing rockets after upgrades from the improved armored cab project, which provides the vehicle with an enhanced armored cab and windows. Service History When first deployed with the U.S. Army, the MLRS was used in a composite battalion consisting of two batteries of traditional artillery, howitzers, and one battery of MLRS SBLLs, self-propelled loader-slash-launchers. The first operational organic or all MLRS unit was 6th Battalion, 27th Field Artillery. The 6th Battalion, 27th Field Artillery was reactivated as the Army's first multiple launch rocket system, MLRS, battalion on October 1, 1984, and became known as the Proud Rockets. In March 1990, the unit deployed to White Sands Missile Range. New Mexico to conduct the initial operational test and evaluation of the Army tactical missile system. The success of the test provided the Army with a highly accurate, long-range fire support asset. On September 2, 1990, the 6th Battalion, 27th Field Artillery deployed to Saudi Arabia in support of Operation Desert Shield. Assigned to the 18 Airborne Corps Artillery, the unit played a critical role in the early defense of Saudi Arabia. As Desert Shield turned into Desert Storm, the battalion was the first U.S. field artillery unit to fire into Kuwait. Over the course of the war, the 6th Battalion, 27th Field Artillery provided timely and accurate rocket and missile fires for both U.S. Corps in the theater, the 82nd Airborne Division, the 6th French Light Armored Division, the 1st Armored, 1st Infantry Division, the 101st Airborne Division, and the 24th Infantry Division, mechanized. A Battery 92nd Field Artillery, MLRS, was deployed to the Gulf War in 1990 from F.T. Hood, Texas. 327th FA, MLRS, out of Fort Bragg deployed in support of Operation Desert Shield in August 1990. A-21 ST Field Artillery, MLRS, 1st Cavalry Division Artillery deployed in support of Operation Desert Shield in September 1990. In December 1990, A-40th Field Artillery, MLRS, 3rd Armored Division Artillery, Hanau, 127th FA, MLRS, part of the 41st Field Artillery Brigade, Babenhausen, and 427th FA, MLRS, Wordheim, deployed in support of Operation Desert Shield from their bases in Germany and 1-158th Field Artillery from the Oklahoma Army National Guard deployed in January 1991. In early February 1991, 4-27 FA launched the biggest MLRS night fire mission in history, firing 312 rockets in a single mission. It has since been used in numerous military engagements, including the 2003 invasion of Iraq. In March 2007, the British Ministry of Defence decided to send a troop of MLRS to support ongoing operations in Afghanistan's southern province of Helmand, they will use newly developed guided munitions. In April 2011, the first modernised MLRS-2 and M31G MLRS rocket were handed over to the German Army's Artillery School in Ida Oberstein. The German Army operates the M31 rocket up to a range of 90 km. Versions M270 is the original version, which carries a weapon load of 12 rockets in two six-pack launch pod containers. This armored, tracked mobile launcher uses a stretched Bradley chassis and has a high cross-country capability. M270 IPDS was an interim upgrade applied to a select number of launchers to provide the ability to fire the longer-range GPS-aided ATACMS Block IA. Quick Reaction Unitary and Block 2 missiles until sufficient M270A1 launchers were fielded. M270A1 was the result of an 2005 upgrade program for the U.S. Army, and later on for several other states. The launcher appears identical to M270, but incorporates an improved fire control system, IFCS, and an improved launcher mechanical system, ILMS. 
This allows for significantly faster launch procedures and the firing of new types of munitions, including GPS-guided missiles. M270B1 is a British Army upgrade, similar to the A1, but it also includes an enhanced armor package, which gives the crew better protection against IED attacks. MLRS Rockets and Missiles The M270 system can fire MLRS family of munition, MFOM, rockets and artillery missiles, which are manufactured and used by a number of platforms and countries. These include M26 United States rocket with 644 M77 dual purpose improved conventional munitions, BICM, submunitions, range of 32 km. M26A1, United States extended range rocket, air, with range of 45 km and 518 M85 submunitions, an improved version of the M77 BICM submunition. M26A2, United States as M26A1 but using M77 submunitions. Interim use until M85 submunition entered service. Ground-launched small-diameter bomb, GLSDB Boeing is modifying the small-diameter bomb with a rocket motor to be launched from ground-based missile systems such as the M270 MLRS. With the Army demilitarizing cluster munitions from M26 rockets, the company says a special adapter case could reuse the rocket to launch the SDB. M27, United States completely inert training launch pod slash container to allow full loading cycle training. M28, United States training rocket. M26 with three ballast containers and three smoke marking containers in place of submunition payload. M28A1, United States reduced range practice rocket, RRPR, with blunt nose. Range reduced to 9 km. XM29. United States rocket with sense and destroy armor, SAD arm, submunitions. Not standardized. M30, United States, Finland guided MLRS, GMLRS. A precision guided rocket, range over 60 km with a standard load of 404 M85 submunitions. M31, United States, Finland guided unitary MLRS. Variant of the M30 with a unitary high-explosive warhead for use in urban and mountainous terrain. M39, MGM-140, United States Army Tactical Missile System, ATACMS. A large guided missile using the M270 launcher, with a variety of warheads. Main article, MGM-140 ATACMS. XM-135, United States rocket with binary chemical warhead, VX. Nerve agent. Not standardized. Reverse engineering. Turkey in order to obtain M26 supply without USA consensus and because USA was reluctant to share technologies started reverse engineering M26 rockets under SAGE 227 project in order to have its own supply of rockets. During SAGE 227 project A-B-C-D medium-range composite fuel artillery rocket and SAGE 227F experimental guided rocket were developed. Foreign rockets Germany AT2 mine, Germany, UK, France Scatman rocket with 28 anti-tank mines and range of 38 km. Turkey PARS SAGE 227F, Turkey experimental guided MLRS, GMLRS developed by Tubatoxage to replace the M26 rockets. Israeli rockets Israel developed its own rockets to be used in the Minotets, an upgraded version of the M270 MLRS. The rockets are developed and manufactured by IMI Systems. Israel Trajectory Corrected Rocket, TCS Ramam, Israel In-Flight Trajectory Corrected for Enhanced Accuracy. Israel Romuk Israel GPS guided rocket with 35 kilometers, 22 miles, range, 20 kilograms, 44 pounds, warhead, and accuracy of less than 10 meters. Israel RAM Ethan, Strong Thunder, Israel an improved version of the TCS Ramam, in flight trajectory corrected for enhanced accuracy, with significantly decreased percentage of duds. Selected rocket specifications. Caliber. 227 mm, 8.94 in. Length, 3.94 m, 
12.93 feet. Motor, solid fuel rocket. Alternative warhead program. In April 2012, Lockheed Martin received a $79.4 million contract to develop a GMLRS incorporating an Alliant Tech Systems designed alternative warhead to replace BICM cluster warheads. The A version is designed as a drop replacement with little modification needed to existing rockets. An engineering and manufacturing development EMD, program was to last 36 months, with the alternative warhead GMLRS expected to enter service in late 2016. The A warhead is a large airburst fragmentation warhead that explodes 30 feet 9 .1 m, over a target area to disperse penetrating projectiles. Considerable damage is caused to a large area while leaving behind only solid metal penetrators and inert rocket fragments from a 90 kg warhead containing approximately 182,000 preformed tungsten fragments. On May 22, 2013, Lockheed and ATK test fired a GMLRS rocket with a new cluster munition warhead developed under the Alternative Warhead Program AWP, aimed at producing a drop replacement for BICM bomblets in M30 guided rockets. It was fired by an M142 HIMARS and traveled 35 kilometers, 22 miles, before detonating. The AWP warhead will have equal or greater effect against materiel and personnel targets while leaving no unexploded ordnance behind. On October 23, 2013, Lockheed conducted the third and final engineering development test flight of the GMLRS alternative warhead. Three rockets were fired from 17 kilometers, 11 miles, away and destroyed their ground targets. The alternative warhead program then moved to production qualification testing. The fifth and final production qualification test, PQT, for the AGMLRS was conducted in April 2014, firing four rockets from a HIMARS at targets 65 kilometers, 40 miles, away. On July 28, 2014, Lockheed successfully completed all developmental test-slash-operational test, DT-slash-OT, flight tests for the AGMLRS. They were the first tests conducted with soldiers operating the fire control system firing rockets at mid- and long-range from a HIMARS. The initial operational test and evaluation IOTNE, exercise was to be conducted in fall 2014. On September 15, 2015, Lockheed received a contract for Lot 10 production of the GMLRS unitary rocket, which includes the first order for A production. M993 Launcher Specifications Entered Service, 1982 U.S. Army. First used in action, 1991, First Gulf War. Crew, 3. Weight loaded, 24,756 kg. Length, 6.86 meters, 22 feet 6 in. Width, 2.97 meters, 9 feet 9 in. Height, stowed 2.57 m, 8 feet 5 in. Height, Max elevation not available. Max road speed, 64 km per hour. Cruise range, 480 km. Reload time, 4 minutes, M270, 3 minutes, M270A1. Engine, turbocharged V8 Cummins VTA903 diesel 500 HP VER2. Cross drive turbo transmission fully electronically controlled. Average unit cost, $2.3 million. Operators Current operators Egypt, Egyptian Army, 48. Bahrain, Royal Bahraini Army, 9, ATACMS Operational. Finland, Finnish Army, 22, called 298 ARSROC 06. Upgraded to enable GMLRS and ATACMS, the rest, 12 former Danish M270A1, are used for driver training only. France, French Army, 13, called LRU Lance Rocket Unit Air. Upgraded to GMLRS standard. Germany, German Army, 50 plus 202, called Mars 2 Mittler's Artillery Raketon System. Upgraded to GMLRS standard.
Greece, Hellenic Army, 36, ATACMS Operational. Israel, Israel Defense Forces, 64, called Minatets, Smasher. Italy, Italian Army, 22, called MLRS Improved. Upgraded to GMLRS Standard. Japan, Japan Ground Self Defense Force, 99. GMLRS and ATACMS Operational. Saudi Arabia, Armed Forces of Saudi Arabia, 50, Royal Saudi Land Force Royal Artillery Corps. South Korea, Republic of Korea Army, 58, 48 minutes and 270 seconds and 10 M270A1S. ATACMS Operational. Turkey, Turkish Army, 12. United Kingdom, Royal Artillery, 42, upgraded to M270B1 which is a one and enhanced armor package. GLMRS Operational United States, United States Army, 840 plus 151, 220 plus upgraded to M270A1. GLMRS and ATACMS Operational Former Operators Denmark, Royal Danish Army, no longer in service, sold to Finnish Army, 12. Netherlands, Royal Netherlands Army out of service since 2004, sold to Finnish Army. Norway, Norwegian Army, 12, in active service for only a couple of years before they were put in storage in 2005. United States, United States Marine Corps, no longer in service, replaced by HIMARS. Potential Future Operators Lithuania, Lithuanian Media announced Lithuania as possible operator. Croatia. Croatia is negotiating 16 systems for Croatian Army, negotiations are in advanced stage, MLR systems to replace grad-based MLRS currently in use. Nicknames U.S. military operators refer to the M270 as the commander's personal shotgun or as battlefield buckshot. It is also commonly referred to as the gypsy wagon, because crews store additional equipment, such as camouflage netting, cots, coolers, and personal items, on top of the vehicle as the launcher itself lacks adequate storage space for the crew. Within the British military, a common nickname is Grid Square Removal System, a play on the initialism GSRS, from the older General Support Rocket System. With the adoption of the new M30 GPS guided rocket, it is now being referred to as the 70km sniper rifle. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.